So I think that the patient population that involves heart failures, these are very sick patients with lots of interventions, frequent hospitalizations. And the hope was, and has been, that if we could monitor these patients more effectively outside of frequent visits in the office, um, perhaps we could improve outcomes, make people feel safer, have a higher quality of life, and reduce uh, um, hospital admissions and reduce mortality. And to date, we really haven't seen um, any evidence that um, we can effectively do that. Uh, there is one other monitor that uh, has been described as having a good outcome, which was also an implanted monitor. Um, and so this study, which was um, software implanted at the time of um, uh, either an ICD or a CRT or both, um, was, was turned on and just continued to be monitored. Uh, a variety of things, including vital signs, and uh, showed uh, preliminarily uh, a remarkable decrease in overall mortality as well as cardiovascular mortality with the monitor compared to standard therapy. This is potentially very exciting, and if we can understand um, how that having this monitor impacted. What did the people that were monitoring the patients do? How many hospitalizations were there? Um, those are the kinds of questions we're going to want to find out about. But it, it, it does open up the potential that we've all hoped for that we can do something um, without bringing the patient into the, into the office all the time that, that might improve outcomes. Well, I do think that there's a, a huge question about who's going to do this monitoring, and I think that's one of the critical things we'll have to hear about the end time study. What, what were the responses to the people at, at the Leipzig Center to changes in vital signs? Um, did they follow algorithms? Did they call the physicians? So, and, and those are the challenges. What is the algorithm of care in response to the things that are being monitored? And what parts of that algorithm impacted this tremendous reduction in mortality that we've seen in this study?